surgery short case dermoid cyst examiner will ask from you please examine this lump there is a lump lateral angle of your eye most probably it can be dermoid cyst what are the most common site of dermoid cyst midline midline is the most common site why failure of fusion of your dermatome give rise to dermoid cyst dermatome fusion usually happen in the midline therefore it can happen in forehead neck chest midline in addition to that it can present in your angle of the eye it can present behind your eye those are called congenital dermoid cyst your dermoid cyst can be divided into dermoid cyst can be divided into two types congenital dermoid cyst most common in the midline midline external angle of eye external angle of eye behind the ear your congenital dermoid cyst most common those areas what are other kind of dermoid cyst implanted dermoid cyst due to some trauma your skin can implanted into deeper tissue skin can implant into subcutaneous tissue then it develop dermoid cyst those are called implanted dermoid cyst implanted or acquired dermoid cyst this one congenital dermoid cyst or intrusion dermoid cyst this one acquired dermoid cyst or implanted dermoid cyst most common area now you can tell what are the most common area can traumatize and skin go into deeper tissue hand lower limb sole and palm those are the most common area hand sole palm so now you know the common site next one size how big it is it is usually small in size size is usually small shape rounded in shape hemispherical in shape hemi spherical in shape skin when you come into implanted dermoid there can be damaged skin you can see sometimes damaged skin is there underlying lump is there when coming to implant dermoid so you can see the skin damage it will heal but you can still see the scar you can see the scar and those are the most common site for sebaceous cyst as well then you have to exclude the sebaceous cyst you have to specifically look for the functum you have to exclude the functum you have to exclude functum which is present in the sebaceous cyst next one surface surface usually smooth if you palpate you can see the surface is smooth it is again well defined edge is there well defined this one is smooth this one is well defined when come to tissue plane your congenital dermoid cyst does not attach to the skin or underlying structure it is not attached to anyone but once you come into implanted dermoid cyst just because of implantation of skin into the deeper tissue that path there can be tracked in that case it attached to the skin you have implanted dermoid cyst attached to skin congenital dermoid cyst not attached consistency usually soft soft you can make indentation there what is indentation this is your lump this is your lump if you using your nail if you make indentation here it will be there for few minutes soft and you can make indentation fractures it may be fractured it may be fractured your dermoid cyst usually not transilvinal it is not transilvinal not transilvinal what is ic connection ic connection mean intracranial connection 
when coming to external angular dermoid, sometimes there will be intracranial part of connection. Then you have to check are there any intracranial connection between the lump and cranial cavity. To exclude that, you have to increase intracranial pressure. How are you going to increase intracranial pressure? Ask patient to close the door and mouth both. Then blow against the closed mouth and nose. There will be increased intracranial pressure in that case. If there is connection, if there is connection, your lump should be enlarged. If there is no enlargement of lump, there is no connection. You have to check for the intracranial connection. Intracranial connection, especially in the external angular dermoid. If dermoid is here, no need to check intracranial connection. If dermoid is dermoid in the neck, again no need to check for the intracranial connection. So this is how you are going to examine dermoid cyst. Site, size, shape, skin attachment, surface, edges, tissue plane, consistency, fluctuations, transillumination and intracranial connection. After that, you have to present about your patient now. Again, keep your hand like this, try to present. There is a hemispherical shaped lump over the lateral side of the left eyebrow measuring 2 cm in diameter. There is no punctum, no scar all in the skin. It is surface smooth, edges well defined. It is not attached to the skin. It is not attached to the underlying structure. It is soft in consistency, fluctuant and not transluminal. Clinically not increase the size width raising intracranial pressure. My probable diagnosis is external angular dermoid. I would like to offer him excision under local anesthesia or general anesthesia after completely extrusion of intracranial connection. There can be intracranial connection. Still, even though you are examination, intracranial connection examination failed. So that is how you are going to present. At the end of the presentation, Examiner will ask few questions from you. What is dermoid cyst? What is dermoid cyst? Implantation of your skin into deeper tissues give rise to dermoid cyst tissue. Dermoid cyst. Implantation of your skin into deeper tissue give rise to dermoid cyst. What are the type dermoid cyst? Already you know. Congenital dermoid cyst or inclusion dermoid cyst and Implanted dermoid cyst or acquired dermoid cyst. What are the most common sites? Now you already know midline, external angle of the eye, behind the ear, palm and sole, those are the most common sites. How would you look at This lump you have to do CTO, chest, CTO, X-ray in the head and neck, not neck, X-ray in the skull in order to explore the intercranial connection. After that, you can do the surgery. Other one, you can remove under local anesthesia. Most of the dermoid, you can remove under the local anesthesia. That is all regarding the dermoid cyst. Thank you very much.